Oof. All right, I'm gonna sell this. The, I'm gonna use these souls because I'll probably end up losing them inside this place. This place is just truly terrible. Look up and shoot the jars. Yeah, so if you shoot the jars in the covetous demon room, then he eats the corpses and ignores you. So, it's a good way to... Good way to distract him, I suppose. So, we need to get to 20 strength eventually. Um... Let's just do this. We'll get to 1612 for the Roaring Halberd. Eventually I want 20 strength so that I can use the Great Sword, the uh, the Gravelord's Great Sword, or whatever it's called. You're expecting a UED commander? Yeah, there are a lot of call uh, shoutouts to the UED with the Stukov commander, I suppose, so I'm not sure what I expected for on that front if there'd be any more. I think I'm going to keep a shield out for this whole zone. <laughs> treasure ahead. Is there? There might be treasure in these pots, but it's really not worth rolling into them and breaking them. Again, I wasn't very diligent on my first playthrough of this area, so I don't really know what is where. Look at this asshole that over here. Waiting for us for later. Oh my god, is he gonna, like, come all the way around to us? He very well might. We're gonna have a random enemy that's gonna show up out of, out of nowhere later. This is not him. This is a different one. The reason I don't like the little guys is because they... The, the, the headless guys, I think they're called mannequins, is because they attack so quickly. It's actually absurd. They catch you in their combos, and there's just nothing you can really do about it. Radiant life gem. There's a way to open this, and I don't remember how. Yeah, I did. I did already get the roaring halberd with the uh, the skeleton things. Is there a way to get to open this? There's got to be a way. So that just raises the toxic toxin there for some bizarre reason. Hello, cone double O. That dude's a pain in the ass. This guy is also a pain in the ass. Okay, we don't quite do enough damage to effectively take him out, but alas. Alrighty. Just trying to think, am I forgetting anything? in this area, because this is all kind of new to me. I was very confident at the beginning, but now I'm less so. This is the guy. This is the one that wants to get me. Not today. I knew you were coming down here, you clown. Stop throwing that shit! So they throw poisonous... Uh, they throw poison toxic throwing knives. Poison throwing knives, not poison toxin, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what the point of doing that is. Beware of ambush. Don't worry. We already killed him. We already brought him to us. I don't know how to get up there again. There's a way through that door, but I don't know how to get to it. Fucking masterful archers. Hi, Jay. Longtime fan, not first time caller. Yeah, I recognize you. The can eater? What did I just pick up? I wasn't even looking. I was reading the chat. See, there's got to be a way to open that, or you jump from further up. I'm not sure. I assume you jump from further up. And I bet whatever it is is not that important in any case. Illusory walls. Nope. So I think the only way to go is up now. I really dislike this place, if I haven't <laughs> been clear about that. 
Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. So there's a bonfire right here. So this is very strange, and you might not realize this, but this up here... Try torch. Uh, you can shut down this whole operation. But it doesn't look like... How would you ever guess without a player message? How could you possibly guess that that's where you need to go? Very strange to me. Have you tried killing them with fire? Oh, I'm trying. See, so light this up, and then all the poison goes down in this zone. Similar to the Lost Sinner, you can just directly affect the boss arena as well, because the boss arena is filled with, with poison unless you do that specifically. So, can we, I don't think we can make that jump. These things are still spinning. I would have thought everything would have stopped by now. It's still... Still a flame? There we go. Everything is still spinning. Okay, alright, there's, there's two. That's fine. I really hate these things. I hate them so much. They're such a pain. They haven't killed me yet. Oh, you sneaky motherfuckers. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's three up there. Okay. Wow, nice jump. There's also an arrow trap right here. There's a pressure plate. There it is. This place is just such bullshit. <laughs> it really is terrible. All right, all the things have stopped spinning. There's the bonfire right there. Let me just collect stuff, and I want to... Again, I'd like to figure out how to get over there, and I just don't know how. I assume, yeah, you jump from the top. Mannequin mask. Can't open that yet. Well, we haven't gotten ganked to all shit yet, but it's bound, it's bound to happen here soon. See, we killed the ones that were, like, hanging out on the rafters, so I think there aren't any more here. What was that? Archer, maybe? I hear units, enemies dropping, and it's just scaring me. Okay. Again, this is like Sens. I'm just very, very cautious because it's one of those types of places where shit just happens and just fucks you up. Oh, God. Hate these ladies. But I'm in exploration mode right now. I don't think you can actually get across here, especially because we shut off the fan. Actually, whether the fan is on or off would have no bearing, but we killed the lady. Flame butterfly. How many times has Jay died overall? I would guess maybe like 10 or 12. Honestly, not that bad for this point in the game. In my opinion. Alright, again, just checking to see if there's anything, any goodies we'd want to pick up. Do you think I didn't see you up there? Okay, just sip up. Okay, we good. Jesus! That is a lot of damage. Quick, quick, quick! Ooh! <laughs> Yikes! 
couple different ways to go here now, and I'm not sure which is the right one. Because there are a shit ton of these guys that are coming after me now. These guys drop a really good spear that scales well with dark, but I've got the Roaring Halberd and I don't plan on replacing the Fire Longsword with another thing that I'd have to upgrade. Look at this motherfucker crawling at me right now. Ah, they didn't drop it anyway. There's a hidden bonfire up there, we'll get to that eventually. Yeah, so this is the boss. I am not going to do this just yet. Because there's a lot more to do in Earthen Peak. Still a lot more to do. And I still don't want to rest at a bonfire because most of the enemies are currently dead. Well, that person didn't die, so that's good. Petrified something is great. Poof! Alright, again, I, I would like to sit at a bonfire, but not enough to respawn all the enemies just yet. And that's kind of our shortcut to the boss, so we'll worry about that later. Um... We're definitely going to get poisoned in here, so let's just get poisoned and kill all these things now. Oh god, oh god, Jesus. Didn't realize they had like a normal attack. Okay, and then this is a mimic. This just spits out like worthless, it's just like, it's not worthless, but it's just water. So we don't need to spend a, a Pharos Lockstone on it. And this is our first Mimic. What a thrill. Yeah, okay. So people, the, so yeah, they warn us at least. Mimics are a lot more dangerous than this. They're way more aggressive and they will leap at you whether you're in front or behind of them. So you just have to be careful. Alright, so I think the only thing left to do is to warp back to the first bonfire and go to that go through that area that we drained the poison, I think. I feel like there's more on this top area to do. So I'm gonna look around for a hot second. This is where we just were. Keep checking chat to see if anyone's letting me know which way to go. Like, this is suspicious, like there'd be an illusory wall here. There's nowhere else to go except into the boss from this room, it looks like. Yeah. So that means back here. We turned off all the contraptions. Hilarious. Hilarious. Oh god! <laughs> Hang on. Go back up there. Yeah, it's not worthless water, but it's, you know, I don't need it. <laughs> oh, this person's dead. What the hell? Where? Like, you can't walk across this. There's a way over there. Oh, I see. You just hop down here. It all makes sense! Oh my god. No! No, no, no! Estus! Ah! <laughs> he lives! Okay. <laughs> no problem. Alright, so this is an elevator, I think. 
But you can go below it or something. There's just a couple different things to do here, so let's just be cautious. Oh, okay. Can they really not get up here? Oh no, they can. He just chose not to, I guess. Should I just chomp an herb? I'm gonna need more dark orbs here soon. Jeez, there's so many different ways to go, I don't know. I never came in here on my first playthrough, never did this. <laughs> he lives! Oh, this is where Pate is, I think. I, ha I did come in here at one point. More Grave Warden bottoms. I definitely had been in here, but I don't remember. <laughs> you motherfucker. I do have some Estus left, don't I? Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe this is where I can drop down and get that other piece of loot? It's like right below me, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. Oh dear, okay. Here's where... Cheese these guys. Or maybe we can't. Okay, I hate this. Hello? Those are good swings. You missed every time somehow. Don't be trap. Don't be a trap. Okay, good. Soul of a brave warrior. Okay, don't fall. Or maybe do fall. We would definitely die if we made that fall, though, wouldn't we? I kind of want to try it, but we're this far. Yeah, there's no way we'd live, right? Unless we fell onto the... Let's come back. Let's come back, because I really... I want whatever that is, obviously. Okay, we come down here. Hello. We went through a lot together. Take this as a token of our friendship. Nice. So we got all those because we uh, we summoned him in for the last giant fight. They were meant for you. <laughs> well, we meet again. There's treasure this way, but I have a bad feeling about it. I don't quite have the guts myself. <laughs> well, we meet again. This I don't. Okay, so he has nothing to say. This opens from the other side, and I don't know how to get to it. But we have to go through there, get whatever he's talking about, and then talk to him again, and he moves to his next spot. According to the wiki that I had read. <laughs> uh, so, up here... Yeah, there's that. Nothing we can do there. Okay, alright, alright, alright. All right, all right, all right. Trap ahead, trap ahead. It's not a mimic. That'd been funny if it breaks the poison urns. Pharos Lockstone, that's good. I'm really running on dry resources here. Dragon Charm. All right, so we're back where we were. We could fall back down there if we want. It all connects, it all connects. Okay, so let me get a bearing here. So, this is nothing, I don't think. I don't think there's anywhere we can go here. that We, oh, we haven't been here. Great heavy soul arrow for free. Cool. 
And we have not been through here. This might be Pate, actually. It is. Okay. Well, good to see that you survived. Perhaps you're more rugged than I thought. In any case, the treasure is yours, since you went ahead and took the leap. I prefer a more cautious approach. It's hard to know who to even trust these days. For instance, I've heard that a man is out for my life. Now, what misunderstanding could have ever led to that? The poor bloke must have quite an imagination. <laughs> you be careful too, my friend. For trust can be a dangerous thing. You be careful. Okay, so we've done that. <laughs> Alright, what have I missed? That one piece of treasure, obviously. God, I keep hearing that like an enemy is dropping upon me or something. So I've been through Pate. We drop down there. See, how do we get there without dying? There's a wall there, so there must be a way around from the other side. Actually, we know where that is from the other side. I don't know how to break it, though. Creighton sucks. Uh, yeah, Pate, I think, is supposed to be basically Patches, and Creighton is supposed to be Lawtrek. And it's neat that they're kind of pitted against each other. Isn't there a way to make some sort of elevator come down here? Or up here? Yeah, we haven't gone through here yet. So this... For some reason, moves the elevator up. Would that smush you? No, it would just take you up. Alright, I think we do want to do that. Let's go and explore this next room. Let's eat an herb. Why else do we have them if not to use them? There we go. Kill these guys. I think this is where Ladder Man is, if I remember. Oh god. Don't die now. Don't die now. What a disaster that would be. These are probably like the last two enemies in the whole place. Here's our connection. This is a shortcut. The soul arrow is the treasure. Man ahead. Um, I'm gonna fall off if I try to kill this guy like normal, so let's just blast him. Simpleton spice. Those spices are always good. I feel like I've—I feel like I really have explored Earthen Peak quite a bit this time around, which I'm happy about. This guy is important. We need him for later. Shush, you idiot. Stay quiet. I'm on the run. Don't give me away. You're a fugitive too, eh? Yeah. Why else would you be here? It's got death written all over it. You want to climb down here? I can lend you a ladder. But, um... <laughs> how much can you offer me? Why, yep. I'm trying to help you, you know? Have you no gratitude? Downright rude, really. I, I, I've, got, I've got a soft heart, so I, I let you off this once. All right, it'll be just a moment. Weird. Weird man. This guy goes back to Majula, though, and he helps you get into that big pit. You don't need the ladders, but 
make things nice. Soft heart and a soft stomach. We need to pay him for that. Uh, go on ahead. Oh. Prostration. Psst. Have you heard? Well, apparently, there's this. Uh, the poison. You know. Uh, okay, I think he's talking about the boss. That creature. Huh? In fact, she was led to the prince of that nearby castle. But her husband? Uh, he had feelings for another. The princess was desperate and sought eternal beauty. Hoping that it would. Before long, the princesses. Now, listen here. Long ago, we said Ranglick now. Countless kingdoms. And this one. Okay, I'm skipping Dad, some of this. She's. God, I'm not going. God. I'm... Okay, so that means he'll go to Majula. What does he sell? Thief outfit, which I think is good anti-poison. I don't really know what this is. I think you use this for a quest line later. And I have the souls for it, so I suppose I'll just get it now. No, miss. These deals, they won't last forever. What deals? You ripped me off at every turn. I can't figure out what this guy's accent is supposed to be. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's Harvest Valley down there. Nice, Twinkling Titanite. I think we, now we have enough Twinkling that we can upgrade our Sunset Staff. So maybe before the boss, we'll go and do that real quick. I thought that uh, Lucetiel was around here. Can anyone confirm or deny that Lucetiel is in this vicinity? I hate that every so often there's just a sound like an enemy is dropping on top of me. I really dislike it. Okay, so let's hit this. Sixty-three ninety-nine is an oddly specific number. All right. Mirror shield, whatever. So the only thing left to get is that one piece of treasure, which I may die trying to get, so like, let's try it, I guess. I think I have to drop from one spot to another. But I, I think, unless someone can correct me, I thought Lucitia was here. You don't think she does, Toxic? Okay, I, I, I trust you. Uh, so let's go and see if we can drop on top of that one piece of treasure and otherwise we're we're done here We're gonna go and challenge the boss and we've unlocked all the bonfires. I got through all this without dying. Is that right? I think I died on the way in But otherwise not too bad not too shabby. That's not it Where the hell? I feel like I'm going crazy Supposedly, Laddersmith Gilligan's supposed to be the thief that breaks into people's houses by climbing ladders he made into high windows. I actually feel like I'm going crazy. Was it not, like, right over here? Because we dropped through here. Oh my god. Yeah, the mirror shield is Lucetiel's, so I suppose that makes sense. Oh, it was this. I don't think this jump is doable, because you'll just end up rolling off. So I think I have to fall from up there and then drop down. I think that's the only way. So there's asshole pate. All right, wish me luck. This is a mistake, I think, in the making. I don't have the the cat ring. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've done it. I've done it. It worked. Just walk against the wall. No. <laughs> 
Ah! <laughs> Jump and plunge should prevent rolling. Hmm. I am actually pretty mad about that. Oh, shit. Keep in mind all the enemies are back now. Oh, look, we're poisoned. Don't shoot that shit at me. Uh, it's pretty typical, though, for this, uh, for this playthrough, where most of my deaths have just been really stupid stuff. There go my souls. That's, I guess it's good I bought that weird thing from the guy. I don't even know how to get back to where I was. I think I have to go down the ladder and then through the little hallway. Man, I, I think at least half of my deaths in this game have just been really careless falling from shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's all it's been over and over again, which is really disheartening. But that's okay, we'll, uh... Draw this guy back here. The other thing, too, in this area, you can kill these things. Oh, you can see them here. Ah. Oh. That's extremely helpful. There's still one more, I'm pretty sure. God, if I wasn't so greedy, I was just too greedy. I wanted that one stupid piece of loot, and that's what happened. Can you please stop doing that, lady? Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to get back there again, because apparently I, I can't figure it out. Okay. Yeah, it's right over here, right? There's a trap! I remember you! I remember you, you son of a bitch. Okay. Now, unfortunately, there's also enemies down here now. Okay. We're very gentle. Very, very gentle. Maybe I should get the cat's ring, but I can't afford it now. Let's go, you clown. Wrong angle. Yeah, I felt like when I did it the first time, I just went straight off, but... I don't know. I just don't know. It's not that bad to get back there, it's just... irritating. Can you- God damn it! Oh, they all came up, that's why. I thought I knocked him down. See? Look, 
Look how well we did. We could have just challenged the boss, ignored the loot, we would have gotten through all of Earth and Peak with zero deaths, and now, because of greed, I'm just dying over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, I guess it was just bound to happen, right? There's also, we can also go all the way back to the beginning. Keep in mind. Oh, he poisoned himself. You idiot. Ha! He's dumb! Ninja man. I thought you were smarter than that. Okay, let's blast these guys down, and then we'll take the time to kill the to kill them as they make their way back up. How's that sound? Hello. Hello? Goodbye. Then one comes up behind me. You're still alive. Of course you are. Set. Ugh. <laughs> this place. I was so confident earlier. I was too confident. I like how the lingering flame doesn't even break the toxic things. It just... lingers there. <laughs> Go human, you might survive the fall with full health. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Might as well try it so that I don't outright die. This is the wrong way. Why can I never figure out the right way to go to get to this place? Here it is. Alright, trap is above me. No! God damn it, roll! <laughs> you piece of garbage. <sighs> Let's waste an effigy. Sip up. Okay. Oh my god. Poison broadsword actually seems kind of cool. Just kill me. Just kill me. Okay. Now, you might think it's time for the boss, but it's not! You may recall there's an area at the beginning that we have unlocked because we've drained the poison. It would seem the tilt is in full effect now. No, I'm happy now. We, uh, we, we did it. Also, we're human, which is a good thing, I suppose. So we want to go back to Lower Earthen Peak. Oh, did I get a human effigy? I wasn't even, didn't even read it. Thank you, Max, for suggesting to just go human. That definitely, uh, it helped. It helped with the risk. Okay, so we come back out here. Pyromancy lady is the worst. These mannequins, they just stunlock you. That's what they do so much damage. I really should get a blue tear stone ring so that I can cast faster. This is just too slow. Just too slow. <laughs> I didn't think she'd still be alive. She just fell perfectly. I'm not trying to get there either. Um, I think maybe if we go down into the muck, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Whoa, look at this guy! We know you died at least once getting to this. Here, have this. Poison broadsword's actually pretty cool. I did, it's a weird, it's a weird thing, but it's, it's a neat, uh, neat gift. I think I actually saw something in here, didn't I? No, that was just a glare. Poisoned. I'm not poisoned? 
he's a god. I am an anti-poison god. I really didn't expect that this zone would take as long as it is. Oh my god. Poisoning piece of garbage. So obviously, I still don't think we can go down into the water. I think it will still poison us. Hair powder. I guess that's in decently short supply, so I'm happy with that. Pharos. Oh, ah, Lucetil is here. Still on the road. Sorry to have burdened you so. This is for you. By way of an apology. You have been nothing but helpful. I found my thoughts growing hazy. My memories are fading, oldest first. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened, terribly so. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? I had an older brother. We learned to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mirror. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him. Not once. But then, one day, he was gone. Lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. If only someone would hear my tale. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. If only someone would hear my brother. How do you know you're losing your memories when all you do is stand by yourself in the dark? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is for, but I think I have enough lock stones that I can reliably just give it a shot. Alrighty. Soul of a proud knight! There's also a poison bite ring, which is uh, would have been really useful a long time ago. Uh, I've also been really greedy wearing the covetous serpent's ring, but I'm going to go ahead and put on the poison bite ring while we're here at least. Once we're out of here, though, we won't need that. That's actually a pretty good pickup, I think. So yeah, Lucetil is here. I was lied to. So in DS2 has it, so going hollow happens inevitably, if slowly. Whereas in DS1, it's really only happened when the undead lost the will to live. I mean, it's. I think it's still kind of the same. I think it's still kind of the same. Where when they lose the will to go on, that's when they, they go hollow. Again, I think that's death. I thought I saw that there was a ladder in here. No, that's just the edge. Crap. So there's oh, there's that other place to go, and we might have to jump to it. That right there. Poison bite ring, baby. Oh god, more jumping. There's got to be a better way to get to that. Is there any way to fall from up there? Oh, God. Nope. Oh! You can land on the side?! This is right by a bonfire, no problem. It's no problem, Toxic, I understand. <laughs> You do have to talk to her every everywhere and summon her in for three boss fights in order to get her stuff. And it's kind of a lackluster reward for the amount of crap that you have to do. Is this... No, this is a different room. Again, we're right by where we need to be to make that jump, so I'm going to keep giving it a shot. Giving it a go. I didn't realize you could land on that on the edge.
Okay, she's still alive. We've learned. That she is still alive. Wait, maybe she's not. See, you could see people constantly trying to make this jump. Is there another way in there? Hmm. I think it'd be easier to just make a straight running jump from here. Like, slightly angled. Like this. There we go. There's an arrow trap here. Let's look for the pressure plate. I thought there'd be a chest in here. Instead, there's just enemies. He's gonna step on the plate, so... Enemies don't activate the pressure plates?! What is this madness?! I am furious. Naturally, he just evades the arrows like a fucking mastermind. Try left. Thank you, messages. You are the true champions. Ugh. Oh, we lost our humanity, unfortunately, but I don't mind. I don't need to be human for this boss. Titanite shard. All right, let's get the fuck out of this place. What a nightmare. What an actual nightmare. Okay, we just need to stay alive to get to the bonfire, which is, like, right up through here. Okay. I think in the long run, we didn't lose that many souls in this in this area. We had, like, what, 16,000, and we spent some to buy the stupid little ladder ornament. So, we're back up to 6,000. Like, it's not that bad. It's bad. But it could be worse, is what I'm saying. For Earthen Peak, which is like a... It's it's essentially Sense for Fortress, which is just a gotcha zone. I think this is okay. It could have been worse. Okay. And then we want to figure out the best way down. Which I think is like this. I should've just walked. Yeah, and then there's this this piece of shit thing. And then there's two of these guys. If I have to heal once before I go in, that's fine. Silverback shield's pretty good. I'm looking for that silverback spear, that's what I want. All right, I think we have essentially just bled Earthen Peak dry. Let's go to the boss. What a nightmare. Dark weapon. Mytha the Baneful Queen. Note how much damage we're doing to her. We just have to get on top of her. She takes a lot of damage from... Uh, dark, apparently. Okay. I don't have my shield out. That's why we're taking so much damage. Sip. Oh! Didn't know about that. 
Let's just wait so we can heal. Ooh, three that time. Let's not stand in the poison. Ooh, you got me with that. I'll give you that. But now you're dead. Victory achieved. All right. Fine work, question mark? <laughs>